Let's do our road trip review of the 2016 Tesla Model S 70D base spec model. So this car has a pretty slow charging uh, due to being old of course. It's uh, software throttled and it's just pretty old technology at least compared to newer Teslas. A road trip range review requires us to drive it like we are on a road trip. And how do you drive an EV on a road trip? Well, you need to change the mindset. Uh, you can't think like you are filling up gas and yeah, now I can go 600 kilometers. Okay, uh, it doesn't work like that uh, because the highway range is of course less than um, just driving on slower roads. And that's uh, of course applies to all types of cars. Now we are at 21%. When I want to stop, let's say 10% state of charge uh, that I want to stop, maybe a little bit less than that, uh, maybe you are comfortable with 15% state of charge, you know your car and you'll get used to what percentage is uh, good for you. Uh, it depends on Teslas, I like to go really low because I know I'll get the limit, uh, I will get the, all the power all the way down in the pack. This is an older car, so it's kind of sketchy actually. I have 20% state of charge, the ne next Tesla supercharger, I'm in Europe so I can use every charger, I can bail out at any stop here and I'll be fine of course, but if I want to go to the Tesla supercharger, let's say uh, I need display distance, I have 72 kilometers uh, of range apparently and I need to go 40 kilometers to the next supercharger that should be fine and I'll stop there and then I will stop for uh, a part of the road trip range test is how long do you want to stop for I find 15 minutes it's a good uh, then you can go to the bathroom you can get something quick to eat if you don't plan uh, to eat lunch or dinner or something which will take longer of course when we stop there for 15 minutes we get an amount of range and then I'll reset the road trip meter and then we'll see how far can we drive on the range added in 15 minutes approximately. Of course I'll just drive until I want to stop again. I look at the energy display and feel like okay now I need to stop. This car is kind of scaring me saying that I'm soon away from all known judging locations but I think I'll be fine. So for the autopilot system, I'll have a whole review on the autopilot system in this car. It is autopilot uh, 1.0. I'll compare it to the newest autopilot in uh, Norway, of course. It's different from the US. To tie that into the ro road trip range review, I'll say that it has very good driver assistance features. In terms of uh, comfort on this car, it's uh, good, but far from amazing. There is no air suspension in this 70D. I am not sure if you could option it uh, at all. We are at 11%. So in my head as an EV road trip driver, I'll probably start looking for the closest charging station right now which is uh, the Tesla supercharger at Nebenes. So we'll stop there. Should be more than enough range to get there. The plan is, uh, <coughs> of course, to stop at uh, the supercharger, plug in, set a timer for 15 minutes, then test the range until we feel like we have to stop again. Okay, let's get off here. We have 9% now. Time to stop, just like a road trip, of course. Let's plug in and set the timer. We are charging at 102 kilowatts. That's awesome to see in this older Tesla Model S. I've set the timer and we have around 13 minutes left until we have to go. 
77 kilowatts at 22% state of charge. We are seven minutes in. We have been here exactly 15 minutes and we are at 36% state of charge. I believe we arrived with 9%. So let's see. Now we will drive until we need to stop again uh, on our road trip. So around 10%. Now we are road tripping. We had a 15 minute stop. We charged from 9% to 36%. So that's 50, that's 25% charged. So we will need to turn around at around, when we have used around 12.5% state of charge to arrive approximately with the same state of charge. We are at 25% state of charge. We need to turn around at around 23% state of charge. The car warns me, you're soon out of range of chargers, blah blah blah. That's one uh, annoying thing with this car. We are at 15% state of charge. The charger we want to stop at is just 6.5 kilometers away, so I think I'll take an extra loop around there just to get closer to the starting state of charge. We have an average efficiency of 205 watt hour per kilometer. <coughs> I think we'll just go to the next supercharger, which is Gardemon supercharger. And we have uh, a CCS adapter, so we'll just uh, charge there. Since this is our road trip, we will just Choose the charger that's most convenient for us. Okay, we will exit the highway here. We are at 9%. We might be closer to 8%. We are back here at the nearest charger. We arrived with 8%. So that's approximately the same as when we arrived at Nevenes to charge for 15 minutes. We drove 91.7 kilometers, 51 minutes used and 190 watt hour per kilometer. This means that with a Tesla Model S 70D you will get 91.7 kilometers of Norwegian highway range if you decide to stop and charge for 15 minutes. So that's enough for a bathroom break and grabbing some snacks and that'll give you 50, 51 minutes of highway driving which is pretty low I think. And this is due to the slow charging of the old 2016 Model S 70D. Thank you for watching my uh, road trip range review. Uh, please let me know if you have any suggestions for improvement of this test. And I'll try to get some other cars into this test as well. It's not meant to be perfectly scientific. Uh, it'll vary. Cars report different kilometers and I arrive with different state of charge but it'll give an indication of the expected highway range that you can get if you charge for 15 minutes. Thank you again and please check out the other videos on the channel as well if you enjoyed this one.